I'm Anthony Albus and uh, I farm here in, in Hockley and Lamb County and farm with my brother David. And uh, here at Albus Farms, we, we primarily grow cotton. We've been, both of us been in business since the 80s. David started, I think, in 81 or two, and I started in 89 farming and started farming together in 90, 94. So we've been farming together ever since. We farm mostly dry land and the primary goal is to keep the water, keep the when rainfall you do get, you gotta make it count when you get it. So you gotta prepare for big rains for whatever, whatever you have. Most of our land we've put on a contour and we've cherished over the years to keep, to keep the control of the water and keep it on the fields and it's made our land more productive that way. Working with NRCS and uh, doing conservation work came hand in hand with farming dry land. We, we were beating our brains out trying to make crops out of, out of ground out here and we decided let's, let's make the soil make us more for our time spent on it. And so the first thing that we really got involved with was building terraces through NRCS. And that just led us down the road to maybe some no-till or maybe some conservation tillage. We have several, quite a, quite a few farms that we have put in CRP. Uh, the terraces got put in CRP. We worked hand in hand with NRCS on that. My name's Reed Poling. I'm a field engineer for the Natural Resource Conservation Service. I've helped the Albus Farms with three or four terrace systems. They want to make them as farmable as possible, but they're also willing to work with us to accommodate contour farming. That's to make sure we limit uh, water erosion across the field as well as hold water all the way across the field rather than letting it run all the way off the field. Any water we can save here in West Texas and keep on the field is a good thing. I've been thinking for a few years that I need, I need to catch what's coming off this barn because I've got a pretty good sized barn. It's an old gin. Uh, used, to, used to be a gin, cotton gin, and we've added to it in all directions for storage and awnings and things, so we've got a lot of water comes off this barn. This rainfall collection system uh, is the latest and current and most current thing, uh, the most visible really. It's been good for us and being that it's rainwater, it's, it's even purer than RO water. Uh, I think for this barn, for every inch it rains, we, we catch about 10,000 gallons of water and 10,000 gallons will, will spray uh, 1,000 acres. Off of Albus's barn, we put eight tanks out here. That was based off of uh, their needs. They wanted to use it for spray water uh, around their farms. That held a certain capacity that we need to order larger tanks is costly to get them shipped from different areas, as well as the way we did it is we put two tanks on the front of the barn and six tanks on the back of the barn. We look at the separation of where the gutters are gonna be and how that roof area is split and those tanks are sized appropriately so all the rainfall runoff can be collected off the barn. They're all connected underground with a four inch pipe and they will equalize when, when it rains. If, if one of them fills up faster than the other over time, they all equal out to the same level in the tank. And then when we get ready to pull it out to spray with our crops with, and uh, we pull it out of, of one tank. We had everything planted and we, we, got, we got four inches of rain right here at the end of, end of May and it almost filled the tanks up. It's like an old farmer told me, you've got to, when you make a good crop on dry land, you, you better put, it, put some away because <laughs> you're gonna need it later on because you're gonna have some years where it's pretty lean. The NRCS, they, they are great and we never felt like that they were insisting on regulations or procedures that were unbeneficial. Uh, Albus Farm has been great to work with. They're producers that not only look at what's going on right now, but really look towards the future of West Texas. Kind of what we're starting here, hopefully it'll be passed on to the next generation to continue, and hopefully it'll be a more conservative way of farming than what we've grown up. Maybe my, maybe my boys will, will have an interest to farm later, or David's got uh, some kids too. Just before we retire, we want to figure out a better uh, minimum seal system for dry land cotton and we're, that's what we're working on now. Which, which really started with our, our parents and our, uh, our uncles. During the 40s and 50s, a lot of terraces were built in an effort to keep the water on the farm. And uh, we just continued that. I hope that they're looking down and they're proud from what we've done. Uh, sometimes you think, uh, well, we've, we've, we've done a lot of things and we've eliminated the possibility of big, wide farming but we really always wanted, what can we leave our children? And what can a farmer before us benefit from?